Understanding in a state of ruin. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase that you might come across in books, movies, or even in everyday conversations. We're going to explore what it means to be in a state of ruin. This phrase is not only picturesque but also loaded with meaning and history. So, let's unravel its layers together. When we say something is in a state of ruin, we're talking about a physical condition where an object, building, or place is in disrepair or has been destroyed. Imagine walking through an old town and seeing a once beautiful mansion now crumbling and covered in vines. That mansion is quite literally in a state of ruin. It's important to note that this term often evokes a sense of history and lost glory, making it a powerful descriptor for places with a rich past. Interestingly, in a state of ruin, can also be used metaphorically to describe non-physical situations. For example, someone's finances or reputation might be in a state of ruin, meaning they are severely damaged or have deteriorated. This figurative use of the phrase adds depth to our conversations, allowing us to express complex situations with a simple, evocative phrase. To help you better understand how to use this phrase, let's look at some examples. After the earthquake, the historic district was in a state of ruin. His finances were in a state of ruin after the company went bankrupt. The garden was left in a state of ruin after being neglected for years. These examples show the versatility of the phrase, applicable to both tangible and abstract concepts. We hope this video has shed some light on the phrase, in a state of ruin, and how it can be used to add color and depth to your English. Remember, language is not just about communicating basic ideas, it's also about painting pictures and evoking emotions. We hope you feel more confident using this phrase in your conversations and writings. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to exploring more exciting aspects of the English language with you.